At the Norwegian Film Schools, we have all three tiers. We've got a bachelor's program, a master's program, and a PhD program. We are not only catering to film, we are also including the related media such as VR, VP, and the games to some extent. My name is Tors Linde. I'm a professor at the Norwegian Film School. As a film school, we have a tradition and it's to have a very thin membrane between education and industry. The current workshop that we're doing right now is a good example of how we can work in conjunction with industry because we're educating not only the future generation but also the current generation. And I think to make those connections is good not only for us but also for the students. Working with virtual production is a technical field and it's a state-of-the-art kind of environment. So for that you obviously need state-of-the-art equipment. Otherwise you're not really learning the trade as it is. My name is uh, Sindre Sæbø and I'm a technician at the Norwegian Film School. Since we are combining a virtual background with a physical foreground, we need a precisely controlled uh, monitor to match uh, the lighting and the setups. We are using the ASUS ProArt Display OLED PA32DC to uh, correctly match the lighting and color from the virtual background to the physical foreground. What I like about this monitor is that we can move it from place to place when we are doing some production here at school and some in the studio. We can just carry the monitor in the handle on the top. With the OLED screen we get really deep blacks and since the display is 10-bit we have all the different nuances of the colors and the luminance. The monitor has really good size to see the full 4K resolution. With the built-in calibrator, we can calibrate the monitor anytime we like. And it's a process which is uh, automated either from the monitor itself or from uh, a software running on the computer. This workshop is very practical. It starts out with a general introduction to the concept, but from that point forward, the students are basically working with virtual production. After having done the pre-visualization, the students go on the real set, which means they are standing in front of a large LED screen and that's where the rubber meets the road. My name is Rasmus Eriksson. I'm a Swedish cinematographer turned virtual production supervisor and I'm currently a PhD student here at the Norwegian Film School. But this workshop we use the complete workstation powered by ASUS. Having a, a powerful workstation is kind of the core and backbone of virtual production. Having like accurate reflections and giving accurate light uh, to our virtual environments is something that's key to selling the illusion. And to be able to actually run this in real time, you need some powerful graphics. The workstation we have has the 4090 series uh, graphic card. We use this uh, workstation on set because it keeps uh, quiet so it can be physically close to the, uh, the action. And it keeps cool so it uh, won't overheat during a long day. The ASUS Pro workstation motherboard gives us the extra power we need for our projects. So a misconception that people might have is with virtual production, it's only 3D environments. But quite often, it's actually something that you capture in real life. For example, we're working with Gaussian splatting, which is a new kind of photogrammetry that's super computer heavy. And this computer is really the tool for it. Having the option to actually output these signals straight through the Blackmagic card is, is incredible. The Blackmagic DeckLink Pro 8K card has uh, four extra SDI outputs which uh, makes it possible to drive uh, several high-resolution displays at once. This is useful so the different crew members can watch different views from the same scene. Working with the ASUS Pro Art team has been lovely because they've given us access to state-of-the-art equipment that we normally wouldn't have available. So I very much look forward to working with them again. Mm -hmm.